Mara, come on, believe it or not, I, I have been dressing myself for a while now. Uh, how's it going in here? Uh, we're having tie issues. Tie issues? All right, well, go oh, with yeah, this one right here. Yeah, and uh, Windsor oh, Knot. All right. And you might want to use this watch mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Why? What's wrong with the one I'm wearing? Yeah, that one right there? Flashy. Yeah, a little too flashy. Yeah. Okay. All right, so how are you feeling? Good. You feeling all right? Yeah. You sure? A little yeah. nervous? No. All right, well, now remember, watch for the light on the camera, but don't look directly into it, okay? And choose your moments for yeah. impact, okay? Right. If you get thrown off guard, just take your time, but don't look stuck, okay? It's okay. important that you, you sound prepared, but you don't want to sound like you're being handled, you know? <laughs> you don't want me to sound handled? Yeah. Better stop handling me. <laughs> Help me with this. She showed up last night after you left. What? She did? Did she say anything about Marianne Carlos or Adele? She was vague, as usual, but I think this may go deeper than any of us thought. Yeah, and uh, some people might have something to hide. Have you heard from Carrie? No, because I can't stop thinking about what she said. Did you ever realize that all of our names start with the letter M? Michelle, Marina, Mara. And it said one Mary Ann. Yeah, all of our dads named us with our first letter of our names being M. Don't you find that a little bit weird? Uh, yeah, and I'd asked my dad about it, but uh, he hasn't exactly been himself lately. Uh, after the interview, I want the family to stick around and be available to the prep. Oh, come on, Bill. I'm really not good at Ed, 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 Ed. You disappear on Michelle and Danny. You know what? People are going to wonder about your support. You know, I don't want to play hardball. I just could use all the help I can get. All right, so I just say nice things yeah. about Danny. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That. That would help. Okay. Great. Thank you. Ooh. Hey, Dad. Hey. How are you feeling? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah? <clears throat> Listen, I told uh, Ross I was going to go over to company and watch that, this thing here. Oh, so. you don't want to see it live? I'm just going to get in the way. I'll see you later. Oh, okay. Hey, okay. Uh, right we're ready. Okay. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. <clears throat> this is going to get crazy, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think it already is crazy. <laughs> Honey, just remember, all the important stuff doesn't change. You, me, uh, uh. our boy, <laughs> okay? okay? I wouldn't be here without you. I know. Okay, oh, lipstick. <laughs> uh, Is it off? No, no, I already started sweating. special edition of the Reba Lewis Show. My guest tonight is no stranger to Springfield. His name is Daniel Santos. For years, the name Santos was synonymous with organized crime in this city. Mr. Santos was feared by many, vilified by many more, including police officials and elected officials as well. It's on the subject of elected officials where our story takes a turn this evening. Mr. Santos claims to have had a mighty conversion. He says he's turned his life around, much in the same way he's revitalized the Fifth Street neighborhood. Mr. Santos supporters say that if he can do it for Fifth Street, he can do it for the rest of the city at large, if given the chance. My guest tonight, Danny Santos. Thank you, Reva. Thank you for having me. I'm wondering, would it be all right if my wife, Michelle, joined us? Uh, of course. Yeah. Michelle, please. Thanks, honey. Oh, have a seat. <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> Reva, if I may, before you start asking questions, I'd like to address your audience. I think all of you watching tonight know why I'm here. I like to think of what's happened down on Fifth Street as not just a renovation or gentrification, but as a renaissance. We reclaimed the neighborhood for our whole town. I believe in redemption that anyone can overcome the mistakes and the tragedies of their life and emerge renewed. This is America. And I don't believe anyone should be forever defined by the circumstances of their birth or the way they were raised. Bob, <coughs> Danny Santos is gonna announce his run for mayor on the Reba show. We oh, yeah? all make mistakes in life. Okay. But how we deal with those mistakes and make amends, that's what's most important. So it's fair to say that you were born into a legacy of crime. Very fair and accurate. That life was all I knew until I met this beautiful angel sitting next to me. 
Because of my wife, Michelle, I know what it means to fight for what's most important in life. Family, friends, and home. I'm not a perfect man, not by a long shot. But I do know that achieving a better life doesn't have to be just a dream. If he's running, why didn't you just say it? It can be a reality, the same way Fifth Street became a reality. The people of Fifth Street gave up believing in their neighborhood. They gave up believing that there would ever be jobs or places to shop or places for their children to play. And I owed it to those people to give back to them their neighborhood because of the misery my mother inflicted to that area for so many years. And I want to do the same for all of Springfield. That's why I'm here tonight addressing you. The only way that I can accomplish that task is if I'm the mayor of this wonderful city. And so I intend to run for the mayoralty of Springfield, Illinois. Together, we can do great things for this city. I ask you give me the chance to serve you. Thank you. I'll say one thing, the kids are natural. Welcome back. If you missed the earlier segment of our show, Danny Santos just announced his intention to run for mayor of Springfield. Early polls have yet to indicate how he stands with you, the people, but I encourage each and every one of you to let your voices be heard. Thanks for joining us, and good night. Yes, Mr. Santos, sure. do you have a criminal record, Mr. Santos? Because of my involvement in bringing down the Santos crime organization, no charges were ever filed against me, and I received the thanks of the local police and federal authorities. Was that a quid pro quo? Are you saying the police unions endorsed your candidacy? I'm just saying they appreciated what I've done to help fight crime in this city. Mr. Santos, the Bowers are well respected in this community. Will they be involved in your campaign? Oh, well, we're all a part of the same family. Danny is as much a part of the Bauer clan as I am with Santos. So, um, are you with the Santos campaign? What's your name? What's yours? <laughs> Amy. Now, are you, uh, related or just a friend of the family? Oh, no, I live here. Oh. Yeah, M Michelle and Danny took me in. Oh. You must know them a lot. It, uh, depends on who you ask. Wait, wait. You didn't tell me your name. So you were telling me how you and Danny hooked up. Yeah, well, uh, I got into some trouble on the streets a while back, and Danny bailed me out. What kind of trouble? You know, I, I really wasn't planning on talking much today. I think Danny's the guy you should be interviewing. Huh. It's interesting. What? Well, Mr. Santos still must be connected on the street if he was able to help you out. See, now, why do you have to go ahead and use that word, connected? Because I didn't say anything about anyone being connected. Well, you did imply that whatever you were into, Danny knew about it, and he had the power to help you. The power? What the hell is this? Oh, I'm just trying to understand... No, I'll tell you what, what you're doing, lady. You're trying to flash your sexy smile at me, trying to get real close, like it's going to get you something. Nico? Look, I look, I'm just some poor, dumb street kid who you think doesn't know Jack about the things your people do. And all the meanwhile, what are you doing? Your head's running like a tape recorder, remembering every little thing I say, trying to twist it around to put it in tomorrow's front page. No, I just thought that we were having a conversation. You were getting to know me, and I wanted to know you. Oh, please. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get me to spill some dirt on a good man. A man who's held me down ever since I've met you him. Down. It means he's had my back, lady. And you know what? I don't even know why he did. Hell, I don't even know why I let him after... After he what? After Danny Can you just what? get out of my face? Okay, Nico, there is no need for you to get Well, that's what you want, right? You want me to get going so I spill something? You want to know about Danny Santos? You want to know what Danny's done to my life? Well, it sounds pretty bad, because otherwise you wouldn't be shouting. Well, you know what? I think you'd be young, too, if someone murdered your parents. Oh, oh sir, can you identify yourself? What are you talking about?